The Story Behind League of Legends, Episode 37. Cult, the Cantankerous Cavalier. A warrior as fearless as he is ornery, the Yordle cult embodies the furious bravado of Noxus. He is an icon beloved by the Empire's soldiers, distrusted by its officers, and loathed by the nobility. Many claim Guld has fought in every campaign the legions have waged, has acquired every military title, and has never once backed down from a fight. Though the truth of the matter is often questionable, one part of his legend is undeniable, charging into battle on his untrusty steed, Skarl, Guld fights to protect what's his and to take whatever he can get. The earliest known story of Kuld traces back to the Empire's infancy and the Battle of Druni. In the dusty hills of those badlands, the First Legion was on the run from a barbarian horde. Having lost the two previous battles, the men's morale was low, the army had been forced to abandon its supply train in the route, and they were a week's march from the nearest outpost. In command of the Legion was a gaggle of wealthy nobles bedecked in spotless golden armor. They were more concerned with their appearances and the intrigues of their class than the men they were commanding. Worse, these commanders, though well versed in assassination and tournament fighting, had proven hopeless on the field. With the remains of the army surrounded by enemy forces, the nobles ordered the legion into a defensive circle in hopes of negotiating ransoms for themselves. Then, as the morning sun rose, the mysterious figure of Kuld appeared on the hilltop overlooking the battlefield. He rode Skarl, an immortal desert Dracoloths. The mount stood on only two legs. Its ear-like four limbs fanned from the side of its head, hanging down apologetically, like a butler who had accidentally dipped his hands in soup. The lone rider stood on his steed's saddle. His weapon was rusted, his armor was worn, and his clothes were tattered, but a relentless anger burned from his one good eye. I'll give you one chance to get off my land. Kuld announced to the barbarian horde, but the Yordle didn't wait for their answer. He spurred his steed and angrily screamed his charge. Desperate, starving, and furious with the nobles, the legion's anger ignited like blasting powder at the Yordle's insane act of bravado. The enlisted men rushed after Kuld and Skarl as they tore into the center of the enemy formation. What followed was the bloodiest melee the legion had ever fought. The initial success of its surprise attack was crushed when the barbarians' reserve forces smashed into the legion's flanks. With the battle turning against the Noxians and the enemy attacking from every side, Skarl panicked, threw cold, and abandoned the fight. Like the cowardly lizard creature, the Noxian soldiers faltered. But at their center, Kuld fought on, chopping down foes, kicking out teeth, and biting faces. Enemy bodies piled around Kuld, and his clothes were soaked with blood. Despite the casualties he inflicted with every swing of his long axe, he was still forced back by the barbarian's relentless tide. He screamed louder challenges and cruder insults. Clearly, the Yordle was willing to die before ever backing down. Courage and cowardice are as infectious as the plague, however, and seeing Kuld's determination, the legionnaires pressed on. Even Skarl stopped running and turned to watch the legion's last stand. Then, as the Noxian line was breaking and the enemy's superior numbers pulled Kuld to the ground, the Dracolops triumphantly returned and crashed into the barbarian's rear. Snarling and clawing, it dove into the churning melee until it freed its master. With his mount again beneath him, the reinvigorated Kuld became a whirlwind of death, and it was the barbarians who broke and ran. Though precious few of the Noxian soldiers survived, the battle was won. The tribes of Druni were defeated, and their lands were added to the empire. The bodies of the nobles, and their fine golden armor, were never found. In time, most of the empire's other legions acquired similar stories of Kuld, proving no defeat is certain in the face of insane courage. It is said he rides wherever the legions travel, claiming the spoils of war and land for himself in Skarl. Most Noxians find the truth of these tall tales questionable at best. But in the Legion's wake, signs can always be found proclaiming each new territory property of cult. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to share video and subscribe our channel.